So, um, I've been asked today if this is all a joke or, or what I'm doing, but um, I've been kind of fascinated with radioactivity, atomic energy, nuclear things, all that fun stuff uh, since I was a younger boy. Um, I remember in, in elementary school uh, seeing the fallout shelter sign on my school and drawing it and drawing it over and over and over the radioactive sign so it's it's kind of been there a long time but uh last night i was going through my stuff and uh found uh, i don't know how to flip the screen all right i'm back so i was i was saying that last night i found a book that um brought me back to my boy scout years and it's the Atomic Energy Merit Badge book. Lots of really fun stuff in here. Um, talking about all the different particles and what they are and who discovered them and how to build some things at home to detect them and how they use them for medicine and smoke detectors and I mean, radiation, radioactivity is, is used all over the place. Uh, and lots of things we do. Um, without it, we would uh, we would be a few steps behind in terms of energy, uh, weaponry, medicine, uh, and again, like smoke detectors are, are vital. And a small amount of radioactivity makes makes those work. So I have assembled a bunch of things on my table. Um, I have some Bluetooth earbuds. I have a battery pack. I have this vase full of glass beads. I have a toddy glass container, a little blue vase, this fire engine red uh, little ceramic piece, a big yellow dish, uh, this little whale butter dish, a kind of classy white fruit bowl, uh, got this white plate here, this boring plate. Um, this metal cup, vintage. I believe this is from uh, Alcatraz. Very, very uh, old. I got this little ceramic cup here. Um, we got an iPhone that's on and connected to Wi Fi. We have a banana. Yay. Oh, um, we forgot the limes. Back to the banana. And we have a real Geiger counter that is sensitive to things like beta, gamma, and x-rays. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on right now. <clears throat> and it's probably going to start making a couple little ticky noises. And the game we're going to play is what on this table is radioactive? So again, here's all of our, our little objects. The uh, Geiger counter is picking up some radioactivity. That's just natural in the background because everything around us has is decaying and releasing uh, radioactive particles. And you can see it's not much. It's just a little tick here and there. You know, one or two clicks. We usually get about 15 to 25 clicks a minute in, in my house. So, we're gonna take the, uh, the seismometer, or the seismometer, I'm an idiot. We're gonna take the Geiger counter and we're gonna inspect each object on this table to look for sources of radioactivity. So we have the um, cell phone here and so far, um, let me just turn it on. Really nothing, not much going on. Uh, we got our book, not much going on. This little white dish, yeah, pretty dead. And we'll go over to the vase. Um, still dead. These Bluetooth uh, headphones. We'll kind of scan all over them, um, see if we pick anything up. Uh, no, no radiation there. And the, the battery pack. I'll turn it on. Um, nothing there. The the marbles and the glass vase is also relatively 
well, not relatively dead, it's dead. Uh, this glass jar, also dead. A little red dish, nothing going on. And the yellow plate, um, slight little uptick, but nothing out of the ordinary. We're still at 10 clicks a minute, um, which is pretty low. Yeah, this little dish here, not much going on. The Alcatraz cup, still boring. Uh, banana? By the way, bananas are actually slightly radioactive because of the potassium in them, but hardly enough to detect. And we got the limes and this dish, and it is absolutely dead. So that, that brings us to this last white plate, right? So we're gonna set down the white plate, and, well, that's, that's boring. Nothing's going on, but, this white plate is actually hiding something. I'm gonna lift this off, and here we have a 19, 1950s era, possibly 40s or mid 30s, uh, as late as the 70s. And we're just gonna watch the uh, Geiger counter here. We're about two and a half feet above it, and you can see there's, there's something going on. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer, till I'm all the way onto the plate. And you can see that this plate is very radioactive. It's releasing beta and gamma particles. Uh, in a room, the gamma particles could, could go out throughout the whole room. The beta particles, though, are simply shielded by a piece of glass. As soon as we put it back on, not much happening. So, this stuff is for sale at your local antique store. And you can own a piece of nuclear history, if you wish. Somebody in the 50s or 30s or 40s, throughout the whole time, decided it would be awesome to manufacture and glaze different uh, pottery products with uranium oxide, which is radioactive. It, it only has a four and a half billion year half-life. So in four and a half billion years from now, that plate will still have half of the uranium in it that it started with. So pretty frightening stuff. As far as handling it, wash your hands when it's done and I'm storing it in the basement as far away from everything else as possible. So it's not uh, posing a risk. Um, one thing you will notice is that as you get further away from it, I'm about three feet above it right now, the, um, the ticks slow down quite a bit. And as you get another four and five feet away from it, they, um, it pretty much goes silent. So just a little bit of distance is all you need to shield yourself from this. You definitely don't want to eat off of it, and you definitely don't want to hold it in your hands all the time. But I'll be uh, blogging a little bit more about the dosage uh, the exposure you get from this plate and what that means and I'm hoping to find some more fun stuff in the near future. So that's all for now.